हेलो हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एंड डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड नेवला टुडे विल स्टडी द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मैकेट्रॉनिक सिस्टम्स इन डे टू डे लाइफ सो मैकेट्रॉनिक सिस्टम हैज मेनी एप्लीकेशंस इन इंडस्ट्रियल एरिया मैनुफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर्स रोबोटिक्स एटोमोबाइल्स हाउस होल्ड एप्लीकेशंस सो लाइक दिस देर आर मेनी एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ मैकेट्रॉनिक सिस्टम्स आर अवेलेबल सो इट इज important to understand these applications properly so mechatronic systems okay so mechatronic system has applications from micro to macro okay so it has micro to macro applications so like mems mems is one of the type of application of mechatronics then consumer electronics tools computers cars stealth bomber high speed train so these are now a days used all new technologies these are very advanced technologies and in each and every technology the mechatronic system is required like mechatronic system means what these applications have sensors actuators controllers okay so like this with the help of sensor actuator controllers such a mechatronic systems are formed okay so these are very advanced applications of mechatronic systems so this is the application of mechatronic system in automobile so automobile has like this new advanced technologies all these are new advanced technologies so one is adaptive cruise control system adaptive cruise control system it's it sets the speed of automobile automatically okay this is called as adaptive cruise control system so it also requires sensor speed sensors for its working okay now another is electronic stability program so electronic stability program is nothing but it stables all the electronic components in the car so like this electronic stability program is available power train control electromechanical brakes are available engine control module is available electronic traction control active body control brake assistance system brake by wire anti lock braking system abs braking system drive by wire system so all these are now adds advanced technologies which are used by automobile for its working so all these require mechatronic systems for their working they require sensor they require actuator they require controller processor so all this combination of everything makes the mechatronic system so mechatronic system has different different applications like one is shown here sanitation application sanitation application means one is soap dispenser one is paper towel dispenser so this system uses motion sensor so here motion sensors are used they control circuitry and they uses electromechanical actuators for their working for dispensing soap they use electromechanical actuators and they have independent power source so you might have seen in many hotels or at your working area there are soap dispensers are used nowadays and paper towel dispensers are used so its advantage is it reduces spread of germs by making device hands free and reduced wasted material by controlling how much is dispensed okay so dispensing is controlled with the help of such a sensors okay so these are all mechatronic systems again there is some mechatronic system is shown that is smart home application smoke detector system so in the house or anywhere smoke detector system is very important if of any appliance at your home like cooker or any other appliance if smoke is coming out that smoke should be tested and according to that horn should be there okay horn or any type of alarm should be active at the time so this is smoke ic shown in figure so smoke ic receives smoke signal from the smoke and give signal to led driver or 
horn driver so that the horn gets activated or any other alarm gets activated next this is one of the type of household application that is called as microwave oven so microwave oven usually works on time dependent okay so timing is given for some cooking purpose and when time reaches its particular value then the heater gets stop okay so this is also one of the type of mechatronic system because there are some sensors and actuators are used so thermocouple is used here for temperature measurement again what is used here controllers are used temperature controller power controller time controller so these are all different types of controllers so like this the therm microwave oven has different types of controllers as well as thermocouple for temperature measurement now this is another household application that is washing machine washing machine is also one of the type of mechatronic system so what is here all the processes are done in the washing machine drum as you know that there is drum is provided in washing machine so in this diagram this is the drum washing machine drum okay so here this is called as process where process occurs so the washing machine is connected with pump valves heater and motor okay so all these are correction elements required in washing machine drum pump is used for pumping the water valves are useful for opening and closing it heater is for heating the temp water motor runs the drum okay so like this these are correction elements and what is output of process we need to understand water level what is water level in the drum what is temperature of water what is speed of the drum what is door whether door is closed or open so these all type of outputs are taken as a feedback and they are given to the control unit okay so the control unit receives sorry sorry control unit receives the feedback from all these type of outputs okay and control unit makes correction in the correcting elements so according to feedback the correcting elements are either open or closed pump either open or closed heater either on or off valve either on or all is either on or off so like this control unit takes correction in correcting elements so control unit requires clock and program for its working okay so control unit requires program for its working so like this controls the action in a time or event driven sequence so this is either time driven sequence or event driven sequence okay you understand this now this these are industrial robots they are used for robots in manufacturing so as you know that robots robots has different arms attached to it one controller is provided some sensors and actuators so all this makes one robot so robot are used in manufacturing industry for welding purpose painting purpose cutting dispensing assembly polishing or finishing material handling packaging palletizing machine loading so these are all different types of applications of industrial robots okay now in the industry for material handling we require mechatronic system so now you check in the video also so with the help of robots material is picked from one position and shifted to another position so for this material handling there is a requirement of mechatronic system like sensor actuators are required some controller is required for working okay so like this material handling system works so thank you so much all of you for watching this video in this video we understood the applications of mechatronic system in different areas thank you